me back to the sweet times, the hot nights. Everything is going to be all right in the summertime. Baby, in the summertime. And even if I have to... Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. So today we are at the bestest place in the world. <laughs> we are at the oh, show it. otter sanctuary so we're going to go and look at some otters guys we'll see you in a minute hiya are you hiding oh i wish we had pet ones of them i want a pet otter me too because <gasps> you're gorgeous <laughs> oh, I never want to leave this place now. Are they normal otters as well? Yeah, these are the Asian short clawed ones. You've got the little baby just down on the edge. Oh, yeah. He's all fluffy. Oh, I wish I could. Um. What? <laughs> I can have my hand over. We make you drop something. Who wants to see a little fluffy I one? I don't have anything on me. There's all I can bite here. Oh, there he goes. Look. <laughs> Look, you see him, Zach? Look, he's running across there. Oh, yeah. We're having a swim. I don't see the baby one There's a bubby. Hold on, guys. Oh, yeah. There he is. And here's oh, the wallaby the... and the wabbit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. He was just a bubby when we were here, wasn't he, little? He was? Yeah. I want to go stroke that rabbit, I am. Come on, then. Hi. <laughs> Hiya. Hiya. What's this? Don't know if these are what you're interested in. <laughs> so cute. Okay guys, so we're going to go on the woodland trail in a minute, so you might see some deers, I think they've got some meerkats, well they used to have meerkats down there, so I don't know if they still do, but anyway guys, we're coming towards a lake, a river, and I don't know if we're going to be able to cross it guys, have a look. We made it guys, it's alright. <laughs> There's some peacocks hanging around as well. We still don't have a second. Okay guys. Look in here you're entering the woodland walk. Please keep to the tracks to avoid frightening the animals or damaging the flowers. Wild flowers in here. So we've got some chickens and things in there. What have we got here? Oh and soon guys it's gonna be time for the otter feed, so. You know, I'll be filming that. 
Right, we've got some 50 pure bag. Oh man. Is there some things here? Yeah. A little bit like turkey. It could be too. There's a deer up there. It's heard me. Oh, there's two up there. I'm not going to zoom in. <laughs> we'll see some more in a minute because they wander around. We did see the big stag once when we came through. So here we've got. What have we got here? Hold on, guys. A common buzzard. You can't see him. He's right at the back. Anyway, moving on. We've got some deer up there being fed. We've got some deer down there as well. So. You won't be able to see it from here, so I'm going to try and zoom in. And there they are. There. I'm blur. There we go. There they are, chilling out under the trees. All the deer have come out now, they're all down there on the path. <sighs> I don't know, guys. Anyway, we're going to carry on. So I haven't seen the stag yet. Just the deer. So, anyway, down through these gates, there used to be. Um, some meerkats and things, so they're probably still gone. So we're gonna have a wander and see if they're still there. Um, got some owls over there. Eurasian eagle owl, babu babu. So they're over there. Um, yeah, they have definitely changed it because when we, used to, when we walked through here, it was just a box. Um, so hold on, push to open. But they've sort of like netted it out and made it really big now. Oh, there's something else up there too. Um, so this is the area. Oh, there's some more kangaroos. I say kangaroos, wallabies. Wallabies, wallabies. Oh, the meerkats. They're over there, guys. In the box. Got some kangaroos down there. So, I'm going to carry on. <laughs> Got some turkeys. Gurky turkey. Uh, right. They're just chilling, having a little munch. So we're going to have to go round because I'm not going down. I fall on my bum. <laughs> I'm not going to go all the way up because it is a bit of a journey. But I do have bats here as well, guys. Not enclosed or anything. Um, just. Well, flying around like they do. Oh, don't do cobwebs. Cobwebs. What happened there? Hey, meerkats. Where's there one? Meerkat. Here you go. There he is, guys. He's up. He is up there. Tonight. Oh, right, the meerkat don't want nothing to do with me, so I'm leaving. I love the wallabies, so soft. Um, you can get deer, deer food and um, other food <laughs> in bags without 50p, but I didn't bring my purse down with me, so. Oh well, anyway guys, it is a hot day today. Ooh. All these lumpy bumpy stones with flip flop caught here. Um, I was saying, yeah, so it's a hot day. It's about, I think when I checked in the car, it was about 28. That's hot. That's the hottest day so far. And there's not, any, not even a breeze to cool you down, guys. <laughs> anyway, I've got to change your arm because it's getting achy. We are going to try and find... Um, the deers again. I can see some over there, but we're going to see if we can um, get a bit closer to them without them running away. I haven't got any food, so might not work. But let's see, guys. Yeah, I know. But you don't get any attention, do you? Because it's all focused on the deer, isn't it? I know, right? The deer just sneezed. I know! What's the matter? I've got no food. I'm sorry. 
Why are you yelling at me? Are you telling me off? <laughs> You're crazy. I'm off. In this pen, another group of Asian short clawed otters. There are 15 animals in here. Mum, Dad, and their 13, what a lucky number, offspring, ranging in the age group of 10 and a bit weeks. They're little babies that you can see, to about six years. Asian short clawed otters are very sociable animals. 12 or more in a group in the wild is not unusual. At the heart of the group, big sister wanting to feed a little brother or sister. See how they're chasing around? Because she's called them and then she's ignoring them. <laughs> Big sister, uh, sorry, yeah, um, they're very sociable animals. Mum and dad mate for life. They are very, very loyal to one another. Only a catastrophe, probably the death of one of them, is going to separate mum and dad. And out of the whole group, mum is in charge. This is matriarchal. And she's the one here, right underneath me. When she says jump, the rest of them say how high. She could give birth every year to up to six cubs at a time. It's likely to be a little bit less often and fewer cubs than that. When she gives birth, she's the only one who's been pregnant. So she is the only one who produces milk for her babies. But big sisters will allow little brothers and sisters to suckle from them. There's no milk involved because big sister hasn't been pregnant. It probably just strengthens family ties and comforts the babies.